everybody tuesday morning here on the rancho you're thinking to yourself man rosie you got so much done over the last week you're still at it this week yeah now we got to go we just brought it up to level before the rancho after letting it slip for the better part of a year or more now it's time to bring it above level level let's see what we're going to do today and there is my namesake little Rosie running around and aren't the uh, aren't the tomatoes doing great I think we already have some tomatoes on yeah there's a little baby tomato and they're they're doing really well the T posts have come to be able to set up a support system for them but I'm waiting for the hog wire which is some metal galvanized wire that uh, will help hem them into the uh, cages that I'm gonna build so but they're really looking fantastic aren't they there's another tomato in there and today I also harvested the um, cherries I got about 50 cherries which wasn't bad yeah this still needs to be weeded out but I gotta have bird get this stuff out of here first but he's really worked down on a lot of stuff here in the back so we have about six bags to go and then we should be leveled up with the, with that i do have a leak here oh, on this that's the hot water inlet which we don't really need but uh, we're gonna have to cut that and mount in a new part there that's not going to be a project for today waiting for the got lots of plums gonna be some good eating coming up I wish this uh, elephant heart was more productive it's always been kind of a disappointment but let's talk about what we're gonna do today now let me grab this because this is part of the process here one of the big issues here is that uh, occasionally through history I've uh, once the pump is pressure once the system is pressurized and left on automatic sometimes a line break will develop out here somewhere on the rancho and if it's a catastrophic enough line break the pump will just run and run and run and it's just pumping and wasting well water um to you know to ch just keep pouring water out of that uh, breach so I need to set up something that would allow this thing to come on to be to, to allow it to be electrified for just a certain number of hours and then it turns off right and then that's it then even if the pump was in runaway mode the most it would run was maybe an hour and a half or something like that before it would uh, lose power and shut itself off so kind of a runaway mode protector I had something like this last year and that ended up just being a piece of junk didn't didn't last at all just just more crap that you buy so what i'm going to do is remove this i'm going to put an outdoor outlet here and then put this on a plug and plug it into that uh, uh, outlet i have a secondary unit that has a new timer on a digital on it and I'm going to be plugging the well pump into that. So I'll show you what I'm what I got. So first, I have a Tamac, a really nice uh, Hubble outdoor waterproof uh, socket. It has a built-in GFI breaker in it, which will be nice. This will also allow me to have power in the back. To break it up this will allow me to have power in the back for the first time in the uh, orchard area which i really would like to have because it's easier to trim the uh, hedges and things without dropping around without pulling around 300 feet of uh, extension cord so that's going to be nice to have an extra plug in and then this unit is then going to plug into this and it is on a stake i might be able to mount it on the wall i'm not quite sure we'll see what uh, see what we're going to do i guess my preference would be just remove the stake and mount it on the wall but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we uh, get to it but in the meantime we have to take off the old unit and um, make sure our power is off i had the breaker 
had Blackbird flip the breaker yesterday, but we always have to make sure that the correct breaker was turned off. So we're going to get our multimeter here and get to it. Here's the tools we're going to need today. I've laid out first a fluke multimeter, and this is a very important thing. Anytime I've tried to buy cheap multimeters from even Korea and stuff like that, the Gemstar and other ones, they've just ended up being junk. You really do get what you pay for, and uh, Fluke is a, rare, is a very good name. It's very reliable. It's very well built. It has a lot of functions on it, which is great. We're going to need a Phillips head, a regular head, some wire cutters, some uh, long needle nose pliers, long nose pliers, as well as uh, lineman's dike here, like dikes here. So the first thing we want to do is remove the old unit and get this baby uh, in place. Now using the meter, I did determine that uh, we have a nice uh, dead circuit right here so here's the hot the black and then we have the uh, white for the neutral and we also have up here we have a ground wire that's coming in so we're going to remove all that we're going to take this off here we might be able to use that in terms of generating for the new box i don't know we're going to play it by ear as we go but i know we have to get this thing off of here so that's the first thing we're going to do that's all been uh, that's all been removed and it's kind of funny you can see the old blue color that <laughs> that the shine shack was painted it at one time I'll tell you what this, this place had nothing on Oakland California in terms of uh, in crazy colors let's go ahead and get the new uh, let's go ahead and get the new unit mounted up that's gonna fit on there really good That's going to be great. That's on there nice and sturdy. We got our base plates all ready to go. I like the way, I like the positioning. It's time to go ahead and we're going to mount up the guts now. There's the supervisor, Blackbird. <laughs> Making sure I'm doing a good job, huh? <laughs> Blackbird. Blackbird's like, I don't mess with electrical stuff. <laughs> I'll leave that to you guys. Anyway, it's very important with GFIs that you recognize that you have a load side and you have a line side. And what's coming in hot from your uh, circuit breaker should be mounted to the line side. And then uh, if you want to run additional uh, outlets beyond that, you hook them up to the load side there. So it's very important. And that will protect all the circuits. You don't need to have GFI circuits down the way. You only need regular uh, outlets, regular uh, outlets, and they're protected. This GFI will snap off. I think you can put even four behind it, so that's a nice thing to know. All right, so let's get this mounted. All right, we got our first first unit in there. With our unit in there, we just have to position it, and then we can go ahead and put the cover on it. I'm going to go ahead and put some... Uh, well, I get it mounted up and then we'll test it for power. I think that looks pretty good. We got a good mount on that. It's time to put some fire in the hole and make sure we're good to go. I like the way this has a nice gasket on it. We also have some top piece, top uh, plugs that go in here to keep this really waterproof, even though it's under a uh, overhang. Every little bit helps when it comes to outdoor stuff for sure all right blackbird the big test here here we go Ugh. all right good deal we got power so let's go ahead and uh, take a coffee break here and we'll be back for installing the timer this is the look of the unit on the inside it does have some mounting on the back of it, which I'm going to use. And I'm going to put it in this position right here below that. And I don't want a lot of extra cord running around, so I bought a uh, terminal plug here to go on to this. You always want to make sure this is going to fit. All right. Before you go crazy. 
and make sure that's going to have enough room to get that cord in and I think that that'll be just fine so the point is I want to shorten this cord up here and put a new plug on so that we can just uh, this will uh, this will get this unit activated here okay so we'll measure this off and uh, get a new plug put on this it's looking good got the uh, plug mounted there it's nice looking I've taken all kinds of steps to make sure that we're weatherproof here plenty of slack to come out the bottom of that baby and this has to charge up for uh, a half an hour it has an internal battery in it so I'm gonna go ahead and try to mount this up over here now and uh, we'll be good I didn't want all that extra cord hanging out I think that looks pretty good with that all that uh, wire hanging down that's gonna close real easily and it'll be very weatherproof so next thing we have to do is uh, bring up the new wires for the um, pump what I ended up doing was buying an appliance cord six foot when very heavy duty and we're gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna snake that through the old holder there the old plastic external housing well and see what I can do in terms of terminating that and getting that all set up on the pump there been out of a couple of hours and I think we're basically good to go here we've got the timer box that is now plugged into the outdoor outlet which is gfi protected and the pump has been uh, i think this was a pretty clever arrangement to use get this open to use a appliance plug and run that down uh, snake that down through the uh, protective sleeve there so now it's just a question of uh, going ahead and um doing the programming on it okay, plenty sunny back here we got the time set it's about 1 30 in the afternoon we're all plugged in there it also has a uh an off mode it also has i think an auto mode here which we're going to be in so this is set on to to allow power from 8 a.m to 10 p.m every night it also has a um uh, mode where you can just click it on I like that we're gonna put it in uh, we're gonna put it in uh, off mode because it should be off right now and uh, yeah auto mode is what we want to be in right now so I think we're all set here's the final look at it I think it's a very neat assembly it's uh, I now have the protection I need so that the pump won't go into a runaway mode. So um, I want to thank you guys for being along. And thumbs up are appreciated. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, because for what they charge for electricity out here in uh, PG&E country is fierce. And what they, uh, you know, I don't want to waste the well water either so there we go thumbs up or appreciate guys if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe hit the bell for all notifications we do this stuff all the time here on the rancho we got to keep our orchard going and producing and to do that we need plenty of h2o thumbs up or appreciate it and thanks for watching